figure I might as well tell you guys uh, what's going on. So I am in Dallas or Mesquite, Texas right now. I am just kind of staying here for a while. My cousins live down here and I wanted to see them before we leave. And it all kind of worked out because the other day I got to go hang out with Parker. And that was pretty cool until my Jeep inevitably broke down. And that wasn't as cool. The Jeep's been running good though. Ever since I changed out the spark plugs, the Jeep's been running a lot better actually. Spark plugs and wires, all that good stuff. Last couple of days I've been kind of staying here, sleeping in the tent outside. And um, I've, had, um, I've had some fun just hanging out in the backyard, talking to my grandma, learning some cool stories. I haven't really recorded any of it. But, um, she had a lot of cool, uh, adventures, really. Her and her husband, back in the old good days, they used to travel a lot. And so she was telling me all about, like, the places they went in Colorado, Yellowstone National Park, and, you know, different places that she wanted to see she never got to. But she was telling me about all those places. Arkansas, there's some cool places in Arkansas. And, uh, so I was also asking her, you know, different places maybe I should try out because she's seen lots of places, lots of really cool places. So we just were talking about our different experiences and stuff, going out there, different things to try, you know, just getting elderly advice on things. I plan on hanging out here for about a week or so, and then after that, I want to go up to Oklahoma. Now, originally, the plan was to head to New Mexico, because either way, I was basically going in the same place. I wanted to go back to the places that I wanted to go to before I ended the trip and stayed in Midland for a few months. I wanted to just kind of like get back on that track, but with my parents dragging me to Dallas, I don't really see the point in driving all the way back to that side because I don't really feel like going back to Midland and I kind of want to venture off. Now, I'm gonna probably head up to Oklahoma in about a week and from there I'm going to try to plan a meetup. I have a few people I want to go out camping with and so I'm going to figure out what's most convenient from them and then from there I'll give you guys a time and a place see if we can get more people to come along and um, hopefully it'll be good um, it's probably gonna end up landing on a weekend that way it won't be too out of the way for everybody else so it might all come full circle I'm gonna see if my dad and my brother would be interested in coming so we can just have a whole group so try to find a good place you know do all that and then I'm going to hang out in Oklahoma for a while. So if anybody knows any cool places in Oklahoma that I need to go to, um, definitely hit me up and we'll see if I can come up with a cool place. But yeah, I need to take a shower though because um, when you're around people, they don't really appreciate you smelling like hobo and oil. Originally was planning on coming to Dallas. I Figured that I would start the trip as soon as I you know left Midland So in my head I was thinking oh, you know it would be a good idea get the Jeep all ready for the trip that way I won't have any more holdups everything's ready to go. It, it, it was a good idea Theoretically except that I ended up leaving for Dallas at like 7 o'clock Which means I didn't get to the final destination that I needed to until like 2 o'clock in the morning I was really tired the whole way driving. It was, it was just a mess. I ended up giving a bunch of stuff to my dad to take home because there was a lot of stuff that I found I really didn't need. So conveniently, I do have a house that I can, you know, have stuff fall back on. But now I'm kind of on my own again. So I got to go through some of this stuff and definitely organize it. Like I have like a whole box of stuff here of just stuff that I, I don't even know. Like or, it's, it's unorganized and it needs to be organized. The sun has returned. Also, I don't know if you guys saw, but I have some awesome merch now. So if anyone is interested in Life of Trevor merch, I have stickers, t-shirts, and of course, coffee mugs. Just as a fact though, um, coffee tastes way better in this mug. So if you want your coffee to be like super tasty, go buy this mug or t-shirt. Life is better in my t-shirts too. I have those.
after I got rid of Kai, I thought that I was gonna have a lot more space. I figured getting rid of Kai would give me a little bit more room to, you know, organize stuff. But, uh, you know, I assumed that there wasn't gonna be a big container of dog food in the way. I didn't have any of his toys anymore, so I was gonna have a lot more room in the Jeep. But what I didn't factor in was the fact that I was gonna have to reorganize my whole setup. And it kind of goes to show that organization really determines how much space you have. It has nothing to do with really, you know, how many blocks you have. It's kind of like Tetris, you know, like if you're really good at it, you can cram a bunch of stuff in one spot. But if you mess up, you're gonna have only a few blocks but still have a lot of space taken up with a lot of gaps in between. So trying to figure out the best organization really does determine whether or not I will have a lot of space or very little space. So I'm kind of going back over, getting rid of what I need, and um, keeping, getting rid of what I don't need, keeping what I need, and then kind of figuring out what's the best solution to put them in. All right, so I got it all organized in here. I have the toolbox in here because it takes way too much room inside the cab. And then I'm going to put this bag down in the cab, which will be better because I have my jumpers in here and recovery gear, so if something happens, most of the stuff will just be in there. I was almost done organizing but the sun's going down and I'm kind of like drawing blanks onto where I want things to go. I don't know why organizing for me is always like such a process, but I'm trying to get like an official setup, you know, make sure everything in the Jeep has a place. Once I figured that out, I'll be set. I want to make sure everything in the Jeep is organized prior to me actually taking off to Oklahoma because Otherwise, what'll end up happening is it'll just stay unorganized and I'll just be like always messing with it on the road. If I figure it all out now, then as soon as I get out and I'm out in the forest and stuff and by the lake, I don't have issues with trying to get everything organized. So, I wanted everything to be more organized before because what's been happening lately is every time I sleep in the Jeep, the last couple days, well, I will just end up just tossing stuff anywhere and everywhere. So, yeah. Plus I'm in the tent now. I'm sleeping in the backyard of a tent. That way I don't have to, you know, sleep in a driveway. Otherwise I'd be having to find a place to camp every night. And then on top of that, it's just kind of, you know, sketchy. I don't like sleeping in neighborhoods. I'd rather sleep in the forest or, you know, anywhere else. Oh well. I did, however, clear out this whole box worth of stuff that I don't need. So I guess I still made progress. Bonita is uh, still a mess, but I'll clean her up, make her look good. I got the sticker on. I'm an Overland Bound member now. Member number, member number 26256. So, that's cool, cool sticker. And also, my own sticker. Ta-da. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, quick announcement. I need your help for something. So the music for this video, I actually really liked it and it actually was made by my cousin Sadie. So Sadie's been making songs, I guess, on her like Apple computer. I don't really know what software she uses, but this is all freshly made new music and that's something I really have trouble finding. Finding, you know, brand new music. And I actually think they're really good. They're definitely the style of music I like and it's definitely got a vlog tuned to it. So I'm really trying to get her to like start a SoundCloud or like a YouTube channel or something. That way she can upload more music and I can use the music. That way, you know, her music is actually getting used. I definitely think she's got raw potential and I know some of the people on here are actually video creators. So tell me what you think of this music. I'll tell you the next time I use one of her songs in my videos, I definitely think, you know, it could be improved, but I really like where she's heading with this. So if you like the song, um, I have the files. I will send them to any Anybody who's interested in them I definitely would love to hear a shout out for her I'm shouting her out now and then hopefully she'll you know get the hint and start an account I just want to say that because I, I want to get more music out of her I think it'd be really cool okay that's all